Hello Aquarius, how are you? Doing well, I hope my friends. Good. So, gonna do something today. I was inspired walking my son to school. And I don't even remember how we got on it, but we were, oh, I know what it was. So he was hoping for a strike at school today because they've been like doing negotiations with support staff at the school and whatnot. So I guess last minute on Sunday, they got a, a deal. So there was no strike. So he's so disappointed and he's walking in and uh, he, there wasn't much traffic. So I don't know if a lot of people made alternate plans and they just stuck with them. We're going to school today. But so he was kind of having hopes that maybe we're going to get there and maybe it really was closed. So the school bus goes driving down the street. So, oh no. It's true, they're going. I said, look at them, they're going. Destiny awaits them. <laughs> and then it was just like this idea, wouldn't that be great this week for the Zodiacs? Destiny awaits, what is it? Maybe it's as simple as, uh, I don't know, your favorite soup is uh, the soup of the day when you go get lunch today. Maybe it is the love of your life bumping into them. Maybe it is um, finally getting that call from where you sent in a resume and you've been waiting and hoping and praying. So who knows what this destiny is that awaits you. So shall we get started? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. With me, Cindy, let's see what destiny awaits Aquarius. Please connect us with our Aquarian friends. What destiny is awaiting them that they should know about? What destiny? Destiny, 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 Aquarian. Destiny, destiny. Jeez, it's really hard to shuffle. Come on, all right. Destiny, destiny, Aquarius. What destiny is waiting for Aquarius? The angel of strength awaits you, Aquarius. The angel of strength. Oh, come on, focus. Would you stop it? There you go. The angel of strength. Strength. Well, the only time strength comes to us, really, the only time we're asked to be strong is when we are being pushed. If you're working out, the only way you're going to get stronger is to push it, right? Well, so something's coming, something's coming Aquarius, that I feel is going to strengthen you. You are surrounded. The angel of strength is here. It's not just like, oh, this is the Leo card. This is the strength card. This is the angel of strength. The angel of strength. There's something, something that I want to say that has been difficult. You've been having difficulty finding clarity, direction, moving forward or past it, whatever it is. And it's trying. It's exhausting. It's fatiguing. It's like, you know, I just don't want to expend any more of my energy into this. Well, the angel of strength is coming here to help you to get through whatever this is. So let us pull out the tarot, the lovely tarot, the tarot of dreams I am pulling out to see what, what are you going to get help with? Why is this angel of strength coming in? I'm sorry, I'm sitting this, like cross-legged on the couch. I just need to chill. <laughs> chill. I was very busy all week. I did 15 private readings from Friday to Sunday. And I'm done private readings for a while. I'm all caught up. So if you booked a private reading with me and you don't think I've done it, well, I've done it. Because sometimes I send emails and people don't get them. So check your junk, email me. Your private reading is done. They're all done. And I'm not taking any for a while. I need a break. I really need a break. Um, so yeah, I need to just, I want to chillax on the couch here. I want to chillax with you guys. So let's see let's see i know i'm taking some time but yeah it's been it's been a long three days for me i know everyone's coming off a weekend but it doesn't feel like it for me so i'm chillaxing on the couch i want to see what cards are coming out for you what what is this why are you being given strength towards let's just go with that what are you being given strength towards 
What are you being given strength towards Aquarius? Ooh. The Nine of Cups. Oh, I like that. The Nine of Cups. A happiness. Celebration. Knowing what you want in life. The strength is coming towards you to really know what it is you want in life. Perhaps you know. Maybe you got like six or seven of these cups figured out. Yeah, I know what I want in some of those cups. And then maybe there's like a mm, couple, three. Not quite sure yet. Or not quite sure if what I'm trying to fill in that cup is truly what I want for me. So the strength is coming towards you to help you make that decision. The strength is coming towards you to help you make that decision. Decision. <laughs> decisions. And you got Pisces energy here too. You and the Pisces, always back and forth with your energies lately. The Pisces, the Nine of Cups. This is such a happy card though. This guy is so happy. He's cup, his cups are full. Of, excuse me too if I'm not talking properly. 15 private readings in three days. For me anyways, is a lot. Um, he is very jubilant, very happy, abundance coming towards. I feel like the final stretch, you're not there yet. You haven't reached that abundance. You're not at the Ten of Cups. You're at the Nine of Cups. And you need the strength to get to the Ten, right? You need the strength to get to the Ten. Get to the Ten. What's in this last cup for Aquarius that they just need the strength to get to? Jeez, you're going to like this. You are really going to like this. I really like this for you. Scorpio's energy. Seven of cups. Dreams. Having a lot of choices. Which do I choose from? Maybe that's part of it. You know, I've done some readings lately. Some people have sent me like their love relationship readings. They got like two, three, four people. <laughs> that's a lot of choices. That's kind of the seven of cups energy here. Like, I don't know. I've never had that choices myself but I say good for some of these people you got a lot of choices so there's a lot of choices and it might be romantic it might be because the other card that came out is the palace of wands here this is going into um, the most comfortable aspect of yourself and someone else with your desires expressing what your desires are even on a physical level um, verbally with one another but with the Seven of Cups, it feels kind of like, you know, one of those things that you've been wishing and hoping and dreaming for. These are fabulous, Aquarius. Fabulous. Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, Palace of Wands. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, I love your way every day. Mm, yeah. That just came up. I don't know why. There you go. So, um... It's very nice energy. It's, um, and you know, with the strength card, I feel it, it's giving you the confidence, not just the strength, but with strength comes confidence to move forward. And um, moving forward, the Palace of Wands is such a beautiful place to be in. It's all lit up. Here, I'll hold it up for you while I talk. It's all lit up. Look at all of the windows in the Palace of Wands are all lit up with warmth and love and happiness. The desires fulfillment. When your desires are not fulfilled, it does leave hollow spaces. There's no hollow spaces in this palace. All of the lights are lit up in this palace. And it's deep. It's deep in a forest. It's protected. You have the full moon in the background. So this is, a, um, for me, it's the completion of a cycle. The completion of a full cycle here. And it, it's a cycle of happiness. Oh, there's someone. This is the other thing. I have to go to an optometrist. I ain't going to need glasses. I just have to stop pretending. Um, there's a little tiny person. There's a little tiny person knocking at the door. Because, hey, this is where my Ten of Cups is. I have I've been given the strength to knock at the door. And I'm knocking at the door because I'm coming in to get my last cup. Thank you very much. And now, you know what? I just might stay. Because I think this is my palace. I think this palace of wands is for me. Right, Aquarius? I think so. And we have some butterflies here beautiful transformation that you've been going through and of course you have I've been with you guys for a while now I know all the stuff that y'all going through and all the signs 
the palace of wands is just beautiful and you know who sits on the top here is um the knight of wands <laughs> who sometimes is seen or depicted as a bit of a player energy not no no this is so deep this goes beyond the king and queen of wands this palace of wands this is like really true deep desires and feelings and expression what it is that you want to express in the deepest part of yourself to get that tenth cup to get that tenth cup and to claim it all right <laughs> well there you go there's your reading Oh, no, 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 no. Not so simple. Not so easily done with me, Aquarius. Um, you know, you got the Seven of Cups here. So for me, there's a lot of choices. What are some of the choices you're trying to negotiate here? What are some of the choices you are trying to negotiate to get into this palace? Wow. The King of Swords, well, Aquarius, that's your energy, my love. That's your energy, the King of Swords. Very strong thinking. You know, we have Gemini, Taurus, and it looks like a portion of Cancer sign. <coughs> Excuse me. Sitting at the top of this. So for anyone, you know, that's resonating with that, with those other signs that may have something to do with this. But um, clearly thinking, I feel like there's something that you want in that 10th cup and you've certainly spent a lot of time thinking about it. You've really spent a lot of time thinking about it. Also going into your intuition, creative thinking, very creative thinking. And I, I feel that very much with Aquarius. Um, I think you guys are sort of on another level, which I'm starting to approach apparently with my north node as an Aquarius. So coming into your tribalism. But with, with the Nine and Seven of Cups here, with the Nine and Seven of Cups here, right? Like, look at all the choices, the abundance, the happiness, but so many choices. What to put in that cup? What to put in that cup? You are reaching, I feel, have been reaching very deeply within yourself, not just the thinking, combining your own thinking, that analytical mind, strategizing, and your intuition, like trying to pull it in from the universe and your deeper self at the same time. And this is one of the things that you've been trying to... Oh, wow. Wow, I feel like some of you want to leave that all behind. You just want to leave that behind and you want to start functioning more on on your deeper desires, like trying to leave that, that thinking mind, what would happen if, what would happen if I, Aquarius, didn't spend so much time thinking about it, analyzing it, meditating on it, what if, what if I just went with my desires? Well, let's see, Aquarius, what if you just went with your desires? Because with the Palace of Wands, you're kind of being instructed to do that. Remember, there's a little person there at the front door knocking. Hello, I want to come in. So what would happen? What would happen? What would happen if Aquarius just went with, wow. <gasps> wow, it's getting exciting. Two of Swords. Two of Swords, so there's a choice, okay. And of course there is. Because I feel like many of you are wanting to just move away from this energy of, you know, how I typically make this choice here. And that's the choice. That's for me the choice here is, I'm, oh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to strategize it? Which way am I going to go? Feeling it out. Feeling it out. Am I going to go left? Am I going to go right? I'm trying to think about it. I've been thinking about it. Thinking, 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 thinking. Well, <laughs> the tree of life has come out here. This is that karmic, soul-fulfilling energy card for me. On a path, on approaching a very interesting path, Aquarius. Destiny awaits. What a perfect card for that title. And for the first video this week on that theme, for Destiny Awaits. Oh, it awaits you, baby. It's awaiting you, Aquarius. Destiny really does await here. All right. 
and it feels like it's based on your deeper desires and I love that because deeper desires are a lot about the fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius deeper desires are for me what comes from that deeper core part of your soul your soul it's it's the part that you know also in this deck the ace of wands in this deck really um it's the beginning of everything it's where everything started I don't, i'm not, probably not going to find it in here so quickly um but it is that the lava the volcano here it is that lava and volcanic action of the earth creating existence creating the life that could be produced it's it's that um one of my favorite tarot readers, his name is readers is Ramblin' Mike. He's awesome. I love him. He's so great. I could just sit in that guy's energy all day. I just love listening to him and his readings. Ramblin' Mike, if you haven't checked him out, check him out. He's great. Oh, yeah, he's so great. And he was, um, he started doing explanations on cards. He does readings too, but he doesn't do this little series on learning the tarot cards. And what he calls this Ace of Wands is the thrust and lust of life and it's true it's true without it there is nothing there's no beginning there's nothing so your deeper desires here i do feel like you are being asked to go with your deeper desires here because destiny does await you aquarius destiny awaits you with these deeper desires and what stronger card to pull out than the tree of life here what is that destiny? Let's see. For some of you, what is that destiny that's waiting? We know it's coming through with the palace and the cups, the wands. I feel like it's moving you a little bit out of your own energy. Give me a second. Yeah, there's something you want to move towards. You definitely do. And it does have something to do with feelings here. We're getting like a lot of cups in, in, the, in the Palace of Wands. You might as well have the whole wand deck with that one. So, but you do have this Four of Swords. You're taking time out. Now remember, the first card that came out was the Angel of Strength. Strength comes out because we're trying to persevere. We're trying to push through. We're trying to understand. And we're building our strength. But this Angel of Strength has come through because it does feel like you need this final... Mm, you know, support, getting through this, because it's been tough, whatever it is that you're working through, you're trying to get, and perhaps you're working towards someone or something, and there's been roadblocks, and I, I feel like you, you want to release it. Release it to the universe, and live based on your desires, because if you were thinking it, and planning it, and trying to force it, and it's just getting harder and harder, it's not happening, the universe might even want it to happen for you, what it is. But because you're putting so much energy towards how you want it to happen, it's not going to happen. It's pushing against the, the way the universe sees the best way for it to come in and be delivered to you. Because it's <laughs> destiny is awaiting you, my dear. Destiny is awaiting you. Whether it is that person or that situation or not, sometimes by pulling away just start living in your in your desires what do i desire to do today i want to go buy a big tub of chocolate ice cream and eat it <laughs> do it well if you're not a diabetic go and do it it's okay or you don't have food allergies um i'm not too good with dairy but they do have ice creams now made with coconut and almond milks and stuff so you could do that anyways let's get into this i, I just feel like you're pushing towards something Pushing towards something with too much mind. Too much mind here. Go into your feelings, your desires, right? You've been taking a rest. You've been taking a rest. It's tiring. And you have the Knight of Cups. This action towards your feelings. This is this destiny that's awaiting you. That you're being called to action on. But not called to action on. In terms of thinking it. How would I talk to this person? How would I phone this business? How would I, whatever this desire is that you have, just go with your desires. Just don't think about it anymore. And why, who was I talking to? Someone else I did a reading for, it was a family member. And um, 
I gave their daughter a reading before she went off to university. And she is an overthinker, apparently. She thinks a lot about everything. Apparently, she's already planning her birthday party for next year, and it's in like June. <laughs> she's already planning it. But so I did her reading, and it kept coming through go with your gut, go with your gut, go with your gut on these choices. And I don't even remember the full reading. It was so long ago. I've done so many by then, by that time. But it was, in the reading, I do remember, it was giving her a step-by-step, -step, like what you need to, to focus. If you can't, you can't figure it out. How do you feel inside? Imagine yourself going towards that. How does it make you feel if you imagine yourself going towards that? How does it make you feel if you imagine yourself not going towards that? And in feeling out that energy, work on your feelings and your desires. When you think a lot, and I think she's a Gemini, the best, the better approach sometimes is to use your gut. And then sometimes I'll do readings for people and they tend to be more like maybe they're like a fire sign and they do go on their desires and their, and their gut feelings or maybe they're a Pisces and they go on, um, actually Pisces had that last week. Don't be a cup. Don't be a cup right now. You need to be a wand and a sword. <laughs> like you need to really own that. I feel that for you right now. I'm really saying all this because I really feel like this is about you going in to your deeper desires and moving with them, moving with them, being unstuck by embracing your desires, being unstuck by embracing your desires. I don't even think about what card I wanted to pull out for the Oracle for the final message. So let's see. What's it going to be? What am I being drawn to pull out for a final message for you for an oracle? Let's see here. Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, I know what I want. Return of spirit. That's what we want. Oh, I'm getting a, lay, a foot cramp. Oh, my foot. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. I get cramps in my feet. Charlie horses. I never, ever in my whole life ever got them until I was pregnant with my son. And then I would wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, God, my whole calf. And it would be, I felt like the muscle was going to rip itself apart. It would be such a cramp. I don't get them that bad now. But nine years later, after having him, I still get Charlie horses in my feet. You know, you all just love your mamas. Your mamas gave up so much <laughs> for you. <laughs> gave up her body and her sanity for you, you know. All right, final message, Aquarius. I know I'm a little crazy right now, but like I said, I've done a lot of readings in the last three days. Oh, wow. You got two awesome cards. Surfacing, oh, there's gonna be so much reflection on these two here, can we, there we go. Surfacing, I don't even know if it'll focus on this. So many little bubbles here. Bubbling up. It's bubbling up. Oh, I like it because it reminds me of, I, I can't find it now, but that Ace of Swords, rewind the video and go look at that again. Reminds me of that, that lava bubbling up, creating something totally new. The desires, the feelings bubbling up, bubbling up, up through the brain, past all that thought and intuition, past it all. Return of spirit. Return of your spirit. Yeah. Yeah, your spirit is not based on a thinking entity either. That it is not, my dear. Your spirit is based on your deep desires and feelings. So push that away. Let your spirit come up. Let it hone in on your desires. Because the nine of cups is sitting here for you, waiting to turn into the ten of cups. And that's what I got. That's what I got for you, Aquarius. I hope you liked it. It was different. It was jivey. I got my jean jacket on. I'm having fun with it this week. And um, until next time, my loves, take care of yourselves. Be gentle and bye-bye.